<sighs> yeah, hello again. I was just thinking about something that Mr. Var Vikernes has said about Slavs. Uh, that there really is, is, is no Slavic uh, peoples, just a Slavic language. I don't agree with this theory. And uh, it is natural, I mean, it is impossible uh, that only a language can exist and not ethnicity, that same ethnicity. I mean, without people there is no language, right? Yes, sure, I do believe that uh, we have been uh, mixed with others. I mean, uh, South Slavs in particular and West Slavs also to a degree. I am I myself am South Slavic so and uh, even though some of us may look distinctly different than uh, East Slavs like Russians, Ukrainians and Belarusians and West Slavs like Poles and Czechs and Slovaks, but we do still have uh, quite many things in common. Our language and our way of our mentality is not that really that different, and that really shows that, that proves that there is such a thing as a Slavic uh, people, peoples. <clears throat> you know, uh, his Mr. Weaker's theory that uh, Russians and Ukrainians are simply Scythians or mainly Scythians, Sarmatians, uh, is kind of thin, I'm afraid, because uh, these people live there. Uh, many, like over a thousand years ago. And uh, they have been assimilated into the Slavic population, so they didn't really, you know, replace the Slavic population. It, it wasn't the other way around that the Slavic population was assimilated into the Scythian, Iranian population, you know. So, uh, yeah, you know. I read a lot of, on this subject about this, the history of Ukraine and Russia, and this Iranian uh, link, and uh, one thing that is for sure is that these two people, uh, we, they are not the same people at all, but they did have some kind of uh, military uh, confederacy let's say, some sort of, you know, pact, a military pact. And uh, these laws that were, uh, that, that were uh, linked with the Scythians and Sarmatians were called the anti Antes or Antes in Latin. <clears throat> I don't know what that means, really. That's what they were called in the West because they uh, apparently it seems that they are actually our ancestors because uh, the, the, the widely accepted theory is that they came to West Western Europe and first I think they came to Poland and then they came to Czech Republic and Slovakia, Slovakia and then they came to our lands, Croatia, Serbia, perhaps part of Bosnia also. So, uh, but these were not just Sarmatians 
or Scythians. I think I actually the Scythians or Sarmatians made up a rather, a rather small part, I think, of this big confederation. Anyway, they were not Uh, they were not the, the most uh, dominant or most numerous element in this uh, alliance, but what may be true is that South Slavs really are uh, descendants of both Slav Slavic and uh, Iranian. And that may be why we have some words that come from Persian or Iranian, yeah. such as Stan, for instance. Stan means uh, a place to live like. It can mean a land, I think. Or originally, it means a uh, land, but uh, in uh, our language, uh, Serb or Serbian, Croatian, Bosnian, means uh, apartment actually stone and we also have the word filjan which is of Persian origin it means a cup it's a special cup for drinking coffee or tea a small cup so anyway uh, <clears throat> yeah but you know, otherwise, if you look at Slavic languages, languages, and Ir Iranian languages, uh, especially Persian, uh, except for those few words that we obviously have inherited somehow from the Iranians, <clears throat> the, those two language groups are not really that, not similar at all. When I listen uh, or read, uh, per, when I listen to Persian, I really can't understand a damn thing. So, you know, if uh, Slavs, I mean East Slavs, were really uh, descendants of uh, mostly of. Iranians, then how come they don't speak an Iranian tongue? No, I don't believe in that theory. Nor do I believe that uh, Russians are mostly uh, descended from Finnish uh, peoples. That is true for uh, the north, northwest Russia, I think, perhaps, but uh, the rest is not. The rest. Uh, are Slavs mainly, and the same goes for Ukraine. Ukraine actually was the Slavic center, the cultural center, heartland once, and Kiev was the the capital of the Rus. What is also sure is that uh, those people uh, have some kind of historical connection to the Vikings, that's for sure, yeah. And they do have a portion of the Viking uh, Scandinavian blood. And it shows, I guess, in their appearance, uh, like uh, very blonde hair, blue eyes. Um, but, but Ukraine is uh, shows a little less of that, because I have noticed that Quite many people there have dark hair, actually. And in while in Russia, the amount of dark hair is kind of uh, not as, you know, abundant as in Ukraine and even Belarus, I think. Belarus. And of course, in the Balkans, South Slav, or South Slavs live. There is plenty of dark hair, and actually, it is far more pre predominant than blonde. But blonde does still exist, and I mean, uh, there are far more blonde people in 
Croatia, especially Croatia, Slovenia, and also Bosnia. Uh, then in other other parts of South Southern Europe and Balkans, Serbia is a little bit different. They do have also some you know blonde people, but not as many. I mean, perhaps mostly in the north, not so much in the south. <coughs> And same goes for blue eyes. They are quite. Uh, they are not. They are not so, so uh, common, the, over there as in Bosnia or Croatia or Slovenia, especially Slovenia. And uh, that may be because uh, Serbians do do carry a lot of. Uh, uh, I think, R Romanian Vlah Lach jeans and Romanians are for the most part dark, dark haired and dark eyed people, you know, so and they also have some other kind of, I guess, m mixture, perhaps a little bit Greek or you know, I don't know. So, uh, that was you know, really what I wanted to say because, uh. I don't think this is this is possible that there can be such a and the po point is that Slavic language and culture is very very rich you know and uh, very powerful I mean, actually it uh, became the most spoken language in the Balkans as well when the Slavs came there it became the predominant language and uh, the while the native Illyrian, the original Balkans language, uh, it just kind of completely disappeared. And, uh, nobody or very few people know Illyrian today in, in the, the countries of former Yugoslavia. So, and yes, we many of us do have a portion, well, I guess, of Illyrian blood, but you know, we do still have Slavic blood in us. And our culture is mainly, you know, Slavic, mainly, not entirely, but mainly. So, you know, I just, I can't really agree with Varvik, I think.